If you guys are in the market for a cordless light, specifically the mechanics out there, today I want to talk about the one that I've used the most over the years. And I want to talk to you today on why I would choose this for some of these others over here. So the first thing I want to talk about is obviously this really depends on your situation. Are you working underneath a hoist at a shop? Are you working in your driveway where you're on jack stands? There's different time and place for all of these lights. And I do use a lot of them on occasion. But this guy right here, specifically this Bosch light over here, this is the one that I use the most specifically when I'm working on vehicles. I don't know if you guys have saw any other videos out there where whether I'm doing a power steering rack or doing other jobs on brakes, etc. there. You probably saw this little guy tucked up in corners, sits off the side of control arms, etc. there. It's a very convenient light. However, this has been out for many years. Recently, Bosch released this upgraded version of this light. And not only is it a lot more powerful with the light output, it has many different options where you can tilt this in a lot of different directions, which is really kind of some of the challenges that this one had, but this one kind of solved a lot of those problems. So I'm gonna to talk to you today on a couple of these lights, and I'll briefly talk about some of these other ones over here to kind of show you where I would use one of these versus the other. So real quick, I'll walk through just a couple of the specs on this older one I have here. This is model 420B. It retails roughly around $59, and I've sold it on sale regularly as a bare tool around $40. It has an output of 420 lumens, and it also has a spotlight and a flood. And what you can do is you can adjust it here. That is the one thing on this. That really doesn't work that great, so I've never really used that over the years. It does have a couple good options where you can flip it up and down like that, where you can set it wherever you need to do and adjust that. And it does also have this loop where you can hang it on things. As we move on to their new release model here, this is 800N, and this has a lot of different options. The first is the output is significantly more. On the high setting, it's at 800 lumen, it goes to 500 and 250. So you have three different brightness settings, and you also have the ability to adjust it both up and sideways. So as you're gonna be able to see, you can still tilt it up and down, and you can also tilt it that way. So you can rotate that 360 degrees and you can adjust this all the way up and all the way down just like you can do that. In the 180 degrees, you have seven different settings. In the 360, you have 21 different settings. If we'll put a battery on here real quick, you're gonna see it's not much bigger than our older model is over here, but it does actually have a lot more options to tilt that. And in addition, it has another hook, so it has the metal hook here. And one of the features that I really wish this one had over the years is this magnet. So you can be working under a vehicle or you can be on a lift or something. You can attach this anywhere you want, pivot this anywhere you want as well. And it's given out significant output. 800 lumens is a lot for a light this size. Now, the next thing you're probably gonna ask, okay, that's great, it's 800 lumens. What is the runtime? On the brightest setting on this tool, it's rated at 10 hours on this Core 40 battery. Now, if you look at any of the competition out there, there's many different lights. I've used some of the stick lights specifically from Milwaukee over here, and these are okay. You can obviously put bigger batteries on there, etc. there. I've used some of the Milwaukee bolt lights that were attached to your head or you're gonna put on my helmet. The runtime on those, I really never liked them because there was only around two hours. And not to mention, I really don't like the feel of having that thing sitting on my head. To me, it would always felt bulky. So I always got in the habit of using lights like this. With that said, why I've always used these lights versus some of the stick lights. If you're working in your driveway, now this is really, again, like I mentioned it before, it depends on where you're working. If you're under a hoist, something like this, it's, it's fine because you have feet from the floor all the way to the vehicle that you could hold and adjust it anywhere. But if you're specifically working in your driveway, you're on jack stands, these stick lights are always getting knocked over and they're always in the way because your jack stand's only gonna sit up so high and your car's gonna only be up so high. You don't want this thing from the ground all the way up to the vehicle. That's where these little guys come into play. These literally are on the ground. You will never tip this thing over and you can adjust that wherever you want. Even this old model for $40, 420 lumens, that's a lot of power for that little guy. And that's why I've used it you know, so much over the years. This guy with 800, it's very, very impressive. And it's still around that same footprint. Put it wherever you want. You can close it, put it up in the engine compartment like that. You can be working on the vehicle, tilt it, attach it to the side of areas and tilt it around. So it's really a pretty nifty light. Now, the one thing with these lights, the better they get like this, the more expensive they get. This one has a bare tool. It's a little bit more than that guy over there. It's around $100. 
which isn't bad considering the output it's putting out. If you compare this to some of Milwaukee's competition in this same lumens, the Milwaukee's are quite a bit more expensive and they're not as compact as this. So I really do like this light. So to wrap up here, if you're in the market for one of these lights, specifically for you mechanics out there, yes, there's all kinds of different options and all kinds of different price range, but some of these Bosch lights for the price, they're hard to beat. I mean, this guy back here, I think it's 300 lumens and this one is $29 on sale regularly for $20 as a bare tool. So there's a lot of good options for the price. That over there, I believe it was $70. That one's putting out 1200 lumens. Again, compare that to some of the competition from a lumens to the price. These are hard to beat and they have really good runtime with some of these core batteries. So if you're in the market for one of these, check out some of these ball slides. You don't have to get this more expensive one. This guy over here has been on sale ever since this one's been released. He's still a good option. Even at $40 over there, I have no problems buying another one of them. Yes, I do like the more options this has, but it's a little bit more cost. So uh, hopefully this helped you out. If you're interested, I'll do a separate follow-up video where I'll go through all of these lights and I'll tell you a time and place on where I would use one versus the other. You know, specifically even this mechanic one I have back here, this Milwaukee that goes under the hood. I do like it, but you know, there are limitations to that as well. So if you're interested in getting an idea of where I would use one of these versus the other, I'll do a follow-up video where I'll talk about every single one of these lights and where I would say, if you're in that specific task or that job, where I would use each one of these individual lights. So hopefully this helped you out if you guys are in the market for one of these. If it did, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in the more content like this, please hit that subscribe. But again, I hope this helped you out and thanks for watching.